Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. So we're gonna do a Let Leone Loose uh, show like we've never done hello. before. Hello over there. Hello. Uh, you will notice there are gonna be some changes, or there already have been some changes here at Hochanda. As of tomorrow, we're actually not gonna have any guests in the studio, obviously to maintain uh, safety and keep in line with current uh, government guidelines. You can see all uh, the implementations that we're applying here to Hochanda. If you follow us on social media, we have put out a statement, but we are trying to maintain our distance. Indeed. So with that in view, uh, before we do, I know you're going to go down the counter. Yeah. Is this a brand new company to us? Um, Stamp Plastic. No, we've been lucky enough to have them on. Um, I think this is about the third or fourth time. Okay, I haven't, I haven't done a show. No, I don't think you no. have. Um, the fabulous uh, American company. I know mm -hmm. Seth, actually. Yeah. I think Seth goes and um, demonstrates at their shop, you know, uh, the wonderful Seth actor. Because I've noticed the stuff, you know, on his Facebook that Look about Stamp Plastic. Look you dropping all the big names. Oh, my mate Seth occasionally Boom. pops into the shop. Boom. Yeah. There I don't know right, me, mate. There you go. Um, but, but, yeah, stamp they bring out some beautiful quality. Um, I like the, the dies and stamps that I'm going to show you. You can really play with them. Yeah. You know, so when you're buying the whole bundle, you've got so many different configurations. But, yeah, they're a That's lovely a company. And I know we have beautiful dies, we have beautiful stamps, but as Leone put it perfectly, when you start mixing and matching, putting them together, you really are going to have a lot of fun playing, which is exactly what Leone's going to do. So I'll let Leone go down the counter. We're having have a look at everything and then we'll have a play. See you awesome. later. Bye bye. bye. It's even easier this one, isn't it? Amazing. Boom. Okay, so stamp listing. Now, they're not a massive company, so you're not going to see them absolutely everywhere, which is why um, I'm well chuffed that I get to play with them. So, first of all, now these are separate, I do believe. We will be giving you details. Okay, details are coming on. Yes, you can buy them as a bundle. Right. You can buy them individually, honestly. If you can go for it, I'd go for the bundle. Um, I know, obviously, it is, you know, um, a bit of an investment, but but this is definitely where you're going to get the most play out of. Do we have flexes on these, or is it just the one price, do you know, our Emily? We, of course we do. Two payments, 27.49. Okay, why I love these. So, first of all, you've got the stamp. Now, the stamps, these are good quality stamps. They're already pre-mounted, so nice cushion mounting and they're detailed. They're a big stamp. I mean, it's definitely the size of my, my palm nearly in my whole hand, to be fair. Um, so really nice, big stamp. I love the patterns. I mean, there's quite a few different ones. We've got different stamps on. Uh, this morning and this afternoon the patterns are beautiful so that's the stamp the next one now this is your layering die so <coughs> and do excuse me I've still got my pesky cough uh, but it is getting better so you've got the layering dies and it's nothing awful um, so you've got the layering dies now with the layering dies look at all of these this is what makes it ridiculously interesting because you, this allows you to create so many different looks, so many different configurations. Honestly, they are so addictive. This, the whole collection, the whole concept is so addictive. You've then got the detail die, now look at that. You can use them all independently. You could just use the stamp with the layering dies. You could just, just use the one piece die with the layering dies. I mean, there are loads of ways you can use them. So, let me show you some finished samples. Okay, so with this one. <coughs> oh, sorry. Croak, croak. I've got water. So, what we've got. Now, look, you've got the stamp. You've got that lovely all-in-one die. That cuts out detail. But then, look, to actually get solid images, I've used, can you see, using the stamp and then the solid so that's that solid layering die. That allows me to block. So I've blocked behind that one, but not behind that one, which allows me, see, not behind that one, which allows me to see that detail behind. So it, uh, every single time you'll get a different look, depending on how you do the dies, depending how, look at this. So that one, that's the outside edge, you're looking down into the flower, but then the black, you can see the black detail Oh, I love that. But that is edging round it. And honestly, these are such good fun to play with. With this one, so I've used a layering die to cut out the matte and layer. I've then used that beautiful detail die, the stamp, and then, of course, the gorgeous, that has cut into it. 
So that is actually going into that second layer. Honestly, beautiful, beautiful stamps. Now, these are being sent out from the 3rd of April. If you love that first collection, uh, £54.97, you're getting a lot of dies there. I mean, that one alone has got six dies. That's a massive die on its own. So you've got seven dies and that big stamp. 350037 is your item number. Now, keeping on that, um, that same sort of principle, um, this one, again, another layering die, but a different design. Uh, check out the website, because we have got different dies for this afternoon's show. Now, this is your eternal bloom. See, the stamp in itself is gorgeous. I mean, look how many different layers you've got. So if you're just stamping that, it's gonna look really pretty. Again, very good quality, absolutely beautiful design. You've then got your layering dies. Now, again, you've got six dies in that one and that is miles better thank you jack you can actually see the dies the other one we couldn't see the dies so you can actually see the size of the dies then it'll come straight down to the little one these are gorgeous so you've got all your layering dies you've then got the detailed die now the detailed die again look at that that is absolutely beautiful and honestly the detail it cuts is absolutely stunning i mean have a look at that so that's the detailed die. That's actually cutting in. What I've done, I've cut it out of the, the piece of paper. I've then placed it back in, but I've stamped behind it. So it's absolutely perfect um, mirror image when you open up that card, which is stunning. With this one, all about the layers. So with this one, that's using the stamp and then the layering dies. Then you can see you get these two-toned looks because of course the layering dies allow you to do that. The layering dies allow you to create that beautiful depth and that visual interest. Mixing up, so that one of course is using the scraps from that one. So you always, if you're creating a couple of colours, you will always be able to create at least two cards out of the, the die cutting, because of course you're using your different elements. I love these, I just think it looks sensational. Now, if you'd love to get hold of that, it is another £54.97, saving £5 there. 806 599 is your item number. Now. We have got some stamps on their own, um, and again, just beautiful. I love these. You might be using these as backgrounds. You might be using these um, just as beautiful main images. Again, look at the size of that, and they do look like peacock feathers. I just adore that. I think that is so pretty. And when you look into it, I mean, there's loads of bits you can fussy cut with this one. Absolutely sensational. Like the one I've done, I have fussy cut a little bit and I was quite I just cut into the card but I quite like that and you know normally I'm you're careful you're careful getting into the image and cutting it out but this time I thought you know what I'm gonna make that a feature I tell you what it were I was watching you know that um oh what's that program called where they go the um, interior designers I'm absolutely addicted to it. I've just watched so many of them. One after, I was watching that. That's why I thought, I'm just going to cut into my card. I'm going to make that a feature. See, that's what you get with watching these crazy designers who are fabulous. You just end up hacking into your card because you think it looks amazing. And I do. I think it looks fabulous. Um, but it's a beautiful image. Um, love colouring these in as well. I mean, colouring in, these are just so addictive because of the detail. Um, again, if you'd love those, £12.99 for that one. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And when you look at it, I mean, how many different layers can you see in there already? Three, uh, 032 226 is your item number. Do remember, if you want the other two, because those stamps, the, uh, we were showing you the, um, the big sets, you can get them individual. So if you're loving that stamp and you're thinking with the other ones, look at the other ones like that as well, because you can all get them individual. Okay, these are already busy. These are so cool. Now, the last time we had stamp list it, we had the first set of the carousels. Um, this is the second set. The second set to us, of course, aren't they fab? I mean, the detail of these is just sensational. Again, beautiful quality rubber stamps already mounted. And these are a serious joy to colour in. I mean, look at these. 
I had a really nice time colouring these in. It's funny actually, because I think I've been prepping for about two days, but it's just because I had a really nice time colouring in. I mean, the images. And also I had those um, gel pens the other day, didn't I? I'm sat there, had them gel pens. Yeah, best gel pens ever. Utterly addicted. Um, but 13 pounds, 99 pence is beautiful. 10% of stock has gone. Really, really busy on those ones. Uh, 471952. Say those ones because we've got a set. The next one is the dragon. Look at that. He's beautiful. Obviously, it's carousel if you want it to be but you don't need to be you can fussy cut the carousel bit out if you want and it's just a dragon so it is up to you which i liked about this i like that you've got that choice look at that isn't that gorgeous 10 percent of him's gone look at that look at that image he's just so beautiful so beautiful isn't that lovely see there should be more dragon carousels I think I think that is that exquisite. I love these fantasy images as well because it really allows you to to, um, to get carried away colouring in. I mean, you can literally use whatever colours you want. You'll notice. Can you see the background? That's a bit of the stamp. So you know that stamp there. Dink. It's a bit of that in the background. Uh, those stamps are fabulous for backgrounds, but he's beautiful, beautiful. 1399 405168. Now, last but not least, this is stunning. Look at that for a really cool image. So different. The artwork on that is just amazing, isn't it? I mean, you've got so much detail in there. You've got the beautiful, beautiful carousel. I mean, a seahorse is, seahorses are magical anyway, but I mean, this just takes it to another level. Fabulous, isn't it? That fabulous image. Um, so that's the one I coloured. Now, I used um, a clarity paper because I just thought it suited that clarity paper so well doesn't it? Because that does look like an amazing sort of sea background. And then just colouring in. And I've used a Distress Oxide on that, but doesn't it work? Makes you look at your backgrounds, you know, makes you look at your papers um, as well. I adore that image. The fantasy images are stunning. And again, you don't need to use it as it is. You can cut the carousel elements out. Stunning. £13.99 is your price. 382 238 is your item number. Okay, the stamps. Now, if you did want those stamps individually, um, this is Bella. Now, absolutely stunning. Uh, £12.99 is your price if you want... Uh, but Daniel says Stella, it's not Bella. Stella, oh, good grief. <laughs> It's Bella, <laughs> uh, 188264. And then we've got Eternal Bloom. For some reason, it makes me talk, Eternal Bloom. Um, now again, look at all that detail. I mean, these are exquisite stamps, 12 pounds and 99 pence, if you'd love your Eternal Bloom. Um, 746954 is your item number. Okay, let's have a little bit of a play. I'm starting on um, the, the first one. So what was that? one called Stella Bella not Stella <laughs> get the word Stella out your head um, okay so we're using Bella dur, dur, that's exactly the song <laughs> that's why it's in my head not the drink but the song it's tra <laughs> cracking tune in it though cracking tune okay I'm not gonna sing it live a will get taken off B I'll get sued um okay so um the stamp first of all now i've already got loads of elements cut and i do apologize if i need to keep drinking apparently as soon as i come in work i need to drink more because i talk more that'll be it won't it i'll have to do that bit so you can't see the label hmm. i should just get a glass shouldn't i rather than out of a bottle okay so what we've got is um i've already got some bits but i just wanted to show you how i do this and it's just ridiculously addictive. Okay, so I'm going to take the stamp first of all. These are good quality stamps. You will find that the impression is just beautiful. Um, you might be stamping and embossing. I mean, this is the thing with them. You can do whatever you want. They're a stamp. So it allows you to, to create so many different um, different looks with them. I've, I've kept it pretty basic, like just with black ink and just... Um, 
just stamping on card because I love the pattern building. You know me, I'm a little bit obsessive with pattern building. And I love that with these. I love that you can you can create so many different patterns with the, the use of the dies. Okay, and look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? It is a gorgeous image. I mean, again, when you look at these, you know, with this one, you've got the leaves, you've got the flowers, you've got layers and layers and layers. So what I'm doing, first of all, because I've already got blues, I'm gonna go for the whites and I'm gonna go for the yellows. And this is, a, at home, this is what I do. Stamp a couple of colors initially, okay? I'm really um, being mindful where I'm stamping. So I get a full image, you don't need to you can use all your scraps because there's small dies to take out all those little elements okay so that's the stamp i'm then going to put these through my die cutting machine so on my plate and i do need to sort my plate so so i'm gonna pop these first of all okay now the way i've been doing this is so if i take one of my smallest first so I take that one there, and I'm using low tight tape, and I, this, you know me, I don't normally, I wing it, but on this one, I want it to be right. I'm hoping I've taken enough tack off that. I don't want it to move because this is about precision. This is about getting those little elements perfect. That one, I want the flower. So again, just lining it up, dead easy to line up, okay? On this one, I'll take, that size so go like that okay okay and there you go you can just line that up as is there um those carousel stamps are busy if you want these oh the seahorse is in the lead oh i'm pleased because the seahorse is one of my faves well they're all my favorites but the seahorse is just divine just so interesting. Um, in fact, 30% of the stock has gone with the seahorse. There we go. Right. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember when you were kids and like seahorses. Do you remember when you used to like buy dried seahorses? Uh, when I was a kid. That used to be a thing. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Uh, and uh, now, now you look at it and go, oh no, just ignore Jeff, he's having a bad time. Dirty Jeff, dirty complaining Jeff. Oh Jeff, stop being so complaining. Stop being so whingy, it could be worse, you're on telly. <laughs> okay, so layers, right? It's funny, isn't it? But this is it, when you're kids, everything changes, doesn't it? I mean... Um, yeah, it, it was gross, gross. I'm so pleased that is no longer a thing. Right, okay, so take that out. That's your first layer. That's going over yonder. Um, keeping my dies, keeping my layers together. So, what I love about this, I want the layers, so I want these bits, obviously, but what's interesting is also what you leave behind. So the apertures that you're creating. So, do that do that keep the apertures as well so taking that out taking that out okay my next layer okay now this is where it gets interesting look at what you've got so for instance with this one right if i bring this die in now and i like cutting the smaller element and then the bigger element because you've got a bit of cardstock to work with so you've got cardstock to actually um sit that on to do you know what i mean so now if i cut that out i won't do them all because it'll just take me forever and all i'll have done is cut things out with this one i can cut that one like so okay i mean the complete collection is definitely the way to shop there is no doubt about it i said i weren't going to do exactly what i'm going to do but yeah i am going to do it because this bit i didn't think when i were playing i didn't think that bit had um, cut and stay but it does and it's absolutely beautiful. On the cards, when you see the cards on TV, I'm showing the cards, you can't tell really, you can't tell the depth and you can't tell the layers. It's only when you actually do this, when you actually use them and when you actually start playing with them that you go, I get it. Because honestly, when you look at them at first, and especially when you're looking at the cards, it's like you can't sort of see the depth, but when you see it in real life, 
it's then it sort of twigs. And when you play with all these, it's really good fun. <laughs> Just playing with them. Don't even bother giving them as cards. Just put them in your journals. And it's funny, really, I haven't put these in my journals, but they would go beautifully in your journals. OK, look at that. See how cool is that little bit? Isn't that pretty? And then look at this one. So now, obviously, keeping all those layers. And look at that one. Isn't that cool? And obviously, I'd cut that out normally. I'm not going to do time. But then look at this one. So taking that die off. And look, how cool are those layers? OK, I'd still cut these bits out. However, I'm also going to cut one of the fancy dies because the fancy die, there's my fancy die. Oh, look at me. I was trying to be organised. I put them all out. Didn't bother getting them out of packets. So close yet, so far. And I didn't have my table at home. wasn't hard enough to give it a proper bash. Right, with these, with these, I do normally put these through, I go forward and then backwards, I reverse them. So they're going through twice just to get the detail out. And also, because I've been lazy, I haven't completely cleaned the die, so I know it's um, not going to give me a precision cut first time. You know, I'm not even giving it a fighting chance. OK, let me bring it back. Now, have a look, because obviously I'm working with um, Bella, <laughs> um, we've got the other collection, so have a look because they work in the same way. Um, it's just different designs. But you know what I found, which is um, great but can be annoying, they all work together as well, which is a bit lethal. Now, I'm going to put this back through because I've noticed it hasn't cut there. I want it perfect. So I'm just going to spin it. Again, just take a bit of time, clean your die properly. Don't do what I do. Yeah, poor old Jeff. Don't do what I do. I'm expecting so much of Dirty Jeff. <laughs> dirty Jeff. Uh, mm. it's such a, it makes me a little bit sad because our Debs wrote her name in it and it's still there. And I haven't seen Debs in ages. Oh, OK, there we go. Dirty Jeff. <coughs> now, let's give it a good bash. Right, OK, there are release holes. So right at the end there, there's the release holes. Be gentle. Just go around, just release a few of these. I, I must admit, I cut some of mine out of paper and I wasn't gentle, so I had loads of nice torn bits. So, and I'm so impatient. So don't do what I'm doing, essentially. I'm, I'm terrible, I've no patience. You just want to get on to play, don't you? but just ease it out of the die. It does come out, it's not a problem. But um, if it doesn't, and it doesn't help that I haven't cleaned the die, you see. I mean, there's layers and layers of card in there. You can see silver, black, white. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you just, just do that. Look at that. I mean, that has got so much card in it. I just need to clean the die. Right, OK. Obviously, with this, you then take time and get all the bits out. It has cut all those bits. It's very much like a doily. I mean, the detail is just beautiful. You know, that one needs a bit of work. But, ow. But um, just take your time, pick all those bits out. Now, this is the fun bit, OK? I'm going to get a bit of card so you can actually see what I'm doing rather than the mat. So... I might get black card. I might be able to see a bit better. I might get yellow, blue. Who knows? Let me just get loads of card and work on this. OK, maybe blue. So, now, this is a fun bit. So I might bring that. Can you see that black layer? You've got your white layer. Let's do two at a time. You can then start layering these up. So you might want to bring in um, one of your, your cut layers. So that can go over the top like that. Or you might want to bring a yellow layer. That can go over the top like that. However, what you could do if you want to see detail, but you want the yellow, you could put it underneath like that, which looks rather cool because it's it's blocking it. So you're almost color blocking it, which looks seriously cool because then look at this. Then you can put that like that. So you're blocking, but you're still seeing the blue. Isn't it cool? And then look, you can bring that bit in and put that one like that. How good is that? Doesn't that look pretty? But I love it because you can play it and you can change it every time. Like with that black one. So you've got that there. But you might want to... Now, let's have a see. 
oh, what do I want to do? See, I might want to put the big, the full blue one behind it. So blocking that again, which looks absolutely beautiful. See, I like that just like that. I think it looks amazing. But you might, I could bring that yellow. And look, you might want to offset it. See, you don't need to even pop one on top of the other. You can offset it, and when you offset it, it changes it again. Like, let's bring that one out. Let's bring that one in. So now I've got the blue behind the sort of black, but then obviously the white on top of it. Doesn't that look beautiful? Absolutely adore these. Your other option, of course, you've got those dies. So with these dies, they allow you to create your solid pieces. The solid pieces, can look beautiful just behind the decorative. So you could have that gorgeous solid piece behind there, which the silver mirror never looks quite as, you know, on that, that's it, but it doesn't matter. You get the gist. And then obviously, I must admit these ones are my faves. I love these, these outside edges. Cause look, if I bring that like that, I'm not gonna bother gluing just cause I'm playing. So I bring that like that. Oh, I might glue. <laughs> absolutely change my mind right i'm gonna try not to overthink let's just glue and not overthink <laughs> I, I don't like doing this i like overthinking on these because i like this plan the bit i adore about this is the planning stage i love putting them together i love playing i just love i love building with these I just think it's so, so addictive. Now we are over 40% of this one. Um, do have a look at the other one because it works in exactly the same way. It's just a different design. And we have got another one later on this afternoon, which I will be having another play with. So Bob, that there like so. Okay, so you've got the blue, you've got the silver going on which looks really beautiful and then let's see see that one's ever so pretty but let's bring some white into this oh yeah i know what i'll do you know when i said i won't overthink there she goes there she goes right onto the wheel overthinking that one is going going like that pattern building all about your pattern building bringing the white and I'm on the flat gluing these down. You might want to bring in um, your 3D form with this. Every, every step of the way, you can change it. Every step of the way, it becomes different. I mean, imagine how many different configurations you could bring in. There we go. So pop that in like that. So that's that one. Let me glue this one together so you can see the variations. And I have got loads of little elements left. You know, I mean... This is a lovely thing. Just do loads of die cutting. This one you take time. I haven't got all the bits out, but I'm not going to do that as well because of time, time, time. So pop that there like so. There. And again, you see, you can work from like underneath. So I love that. I love how you can colour it in almost. I, I just think that looks absolutely exquisite. Then pop this one here, like this. You can see they're my two favourites. In fact, that's really interesting. I've gone for exactly the same two, haven't I? Right, and then use this one, like this. And that one I can pop just there, like that. Do do do. Okay, and then I might, with the flower, I might do the black. Pop that there and I might not offset that, but have that in the middle, but just raise it up so that's got a bit of lift. Now that one had obviously, whatever background I put that on, it's gonna look best. I've got all these elements spare as well. So I'll be able to create loads of them, but just have a look at how beautiful that is. So you've got that one. I mean. I've not been funny, but that would make a beautiful decoration, wouldn't it? Because you could easily, because these are um, thingy, whatever the word is, or, you know, symmetrical. Look, look, you could back one on, on the other. So if you're making decorations, how pretty are they? I, I adore these. I just think they're such good designs. So you've got that one. And then, I mean, that is more or less the same design. But look how different that looks just with the silver. I love these. 
absolutely love these now our um yanis is going to take you down the counter i'll get set up for another demonstration um but please check your baskets out remember stamplistic you haven't um got these everywhere though i've not seen them in any shops actually because uh, they are an american brand check out the website it is a chanda.com that's where you're going to see everything that we've got um so many different configurations so many different um <laughs> things you can do with these but they are beautiful obviously we've got lots more on the show and we've got different stamps this afternoon um so please have a little look right oh yanis over to you what a lovely show i hope you are enjoying it if you do want to say anything uh, maybe you've got any questions or you just want to say hello we're always here for you studio at hochanda.com get in touch now uh, you're seeing here the potential of having uh, the stamps and the dies together and they are beautiful dies so right here we're looking at the layering stamp and die complete collection this is bella Oh, and uh, living up to its name because it is beautiful. Just showing you, if you have just tuned in, uh, this was what Leone was playing around with. Now, come on. So think about this as toppers or uh, adding to a mixed media piece. Uh, they're strong enough to stand alone or be part of a compilation. So you can start ooh, putting a few together. Imagine that sort of uh, maybe draping around or uh, I mean, th you can put it on your cards. You can use it for your home decor list goes on let me show you the uh, dies that you are getting so we have got the layering dies which you are seeing right here outside edge and then you've got your inside cutting detail as well and then we've also got the stamp and when we're talking stamp and these are things we look for as crafters I mean the quality of the stamp it's red rubber it's foam mounted but look at the depth of that engraved etch detail Ooh, love it. 54.97 your price. You are getting all of those components. The complete collection of Bella or you can just get the options individually as well. You are saving £5. 350-037 your item number as we move on and can I just say something uh, if you are watching right now because a lot of people uh, are self uh, distancing and staying at home if you are at home I know we are a shopping channel but it's not just about that if you just want to tune in for some company say hello we are here for you don't need to necessarily shop uh, but if you are looking for some great dies and stamps having a look here we have got a great collection uh, these are your layered stamps and die complete collections so this is your eternal bloom so same concept as we saw with uh, Bella but you've got the uh, dies just showing you there oh we're getting an awful lot of dies look at these so there your outside cutting edge and then we have your inside cutting detail but the point is and of course you have your stamp in the mix as well if I pop that down I'm just going to show you some of the examples oh these are nice how about that look lovely so depending on your colorways this is, I like very natural greens uh, it's got a bit of shrubbery about it but if you go with bright colors it could be a beautiful mandala how about this layering up that's nice or how about that oh old well, now that's a nice using the stamp to good effect as well it's about techniques and this is what you're getting here 54 at 97 your price saving five pounds 806 599 your item number we have some more for you. Now we've got stamp individually. I'm just going to show you here. This is very nice. It's got a bit, oh, whoops, sorry. It's got a bit of a kaleidoscope about it. Sensate. So just like drawing you in. Do you remember those little um, that thing you used to look, for, look through as a kid and you kind of twist it and all those uh, geometric shapes appear? Am I by myself on that one? Uh, there we go. Have a look here. Oh. Now, like a little bit, not, not like you, Leon, you know. Not with a you know, with a dry seahorse sea horses. on my own there. But wait, can I just, I, I know you can't, Leonie's not in shot now, so you can just give me a nod, Leonie. Dry seahorse, these weren't to eat. No, no, no. What were they then? What were they? they? Just, I don't know. They, they sold them, they used to sell bags of shells. Okay. Dried um, seahorses and dried starfish. And we oh, we're not endorsing this at all. We're, it's just purely a point of fact that these were once upon a time sold. Uh, not to eat. I got the wrong end of the stick. I've walked in on that conversation. OK, so looking here with a bit of gold metallic. Oh, and you know what? You can get in with your pens as well. Lovely. Popping that down. Twelve ninety nine. your price for a gorgeous stamp. I'm just going to show you the stamp. Up, up, up. There you go. Look at that. Red rubber, foam mounted. Beautiful. 12.99 I think is very good value for money. 032 226 your item number. 
Now we've got other items. So we've had a look at kind of the, the blooms, the mandalas. Uh, we've got a carousel, but a carousel, oh, that is regal looking. $13.99 your price as he proudly, it's that pose. Isn't that lovely? And I'll just show you stamped out because obviously that is the litmus test. We want to see what it's like stamped out, yes. A regal looking, but now stamped out, you get to see all the areas of interest you're going to add. I like the little mask. He's like a little lion superhero coming through, but you can change the total feel of that. $13.99 your price, uh, 4171952 your item number. 20% of the stock has gone here. Could possibly be my favorite. Could possibly be my favorite. We'll have a look because, uh, and I would sorely be tempted to get all the carousel characters because obviously with a carousel, uh, imagine just laying them up. And I know somebody at home, very clever with your makes and your construction, imagine creating a full carousel. If anyone does do that, please, please send in uh, or tag a, a Hochandrian. We would love to see it and tag me in as well. Let me just show you here. Look at this. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that dragon is incredible. Lavish in detail and just screams for colors. So whether it is watercolors, your alcohol markers, uh, your different mediums going through, or how about even just playing around with your gel presses? Just adding that final layer of detail. Uh, $13.99 your price, 405-168 your item number. Now the last one is the seahorse, which sparked all the conversation with the dried seahorses. So uh, this happens to be the most popular. And by the way, and thank you so much, clarifying that she does remember the dried seahorses. So you're not alone, Leonie. You're not alone. There we go. And she said, yeah, they were they were pretty horrific. Okay, uh, just showing you this. Oh, the detail that you're getting with the seahorses. All right, now I've got problems. Stamplistic have given me problems. <laughs> Because I'm thinking, I'm think no, I'll create the jokes here, everybody. Um, I'm thinking the dragon, but now I'm swaying towards the seahorse. I like the lion. If you do want to get all the throat, all of them together, uh, seahorse, half the stock's gone here. Thirteen ninety nine your price. It's something a little bit different. Three eight two two three eight your item number. Uh, just tell you, we have got another feature here at Hochanda. If you have uh, sixty pounds or more in your basket, or you see an item with a flexi payment, you're able to split the price in half. And if you're not familiar with flexi payment, here's a little video explaining a bit more. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello and welcome and thank you all for your lovely emails. Um, I'm glad you're you're safe and at home and um, and yeah just keeping keeping us company. Thank you very much. Um, it is going to be. I mean, these next few few days or weeks or whatever we've got. Who not? Well, not days, obviously. Um, the next few weeks, months, maybe. Um, <laughs> Not going to say that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be different. I know personally, what have I got? I've got, because obviously we haven't got, you know, it, our guests already started um, dropping off who couldn't come over because no, <laughs> it's a bad term of phrase. Oh, you have to be careful with what words you use on live telly, don't you? I don't know, I don't. Um, not being able to come in because they couldn't fly, that's better. Not, not dropping off, that's a terrible thing. <laughs> A terrible term of phrase, but but um, because we had and it's so um, Stampiri, I've got a Stampiri one day special, and I do believe it was meant to be. Was it meant to be my? 
Oh, I can't, do you know, I'm having a name blank who was coming over, but it was one of the amazing Stampira ladies who were meant to be coming over and now she can't come over, so we are a bit gutted, but they've sent the most beautiful finished samples. So I know we've got to run. Obviously, our lovely Tracy can't make it um, for the All and Create, so I've got that Monday. So we are a bit, we're going to be busy, but we're still going and hopefully we're still entertaining you. So, and hopefully you're having a lovely time. I tell you what I would like to see, if you've got um, any of your finished samples from Stamplistic, because we've had them on about two or three times before. So if you've, and I, they've always been busy. So I would love to see what you've made. And it's really nice that, because obviously for us, especially as our shows are, you know, we don't have guests. So it's just us and us lot in my head and our Jack. So it's a really, you know, there's a small, small, small team now. So we'd love your company as well. You know, so send us those photos in. Um, I'd love to see um, your animals. <laughs> Obviously. Ob for, for, yeah, not dry seahorses. That doesn't count as your animals. <laughs> no, bad idea, Leone. I mean, you know when you wish you hadn't brought that up? Hmm. Awkward. But anyway, animals and Stamplistic. I'd love to see what you've done with your Stamplistic last time. Right, Stamplistic. I am going to take the beautiful, I love him, the dragon, just because he's amazing. All three of these are amazing. The ones we had on last time were amazing. Um, do you remember the bear? I don't know if you remember the bear we had on last time. Oh, my word. Just such a beautiful image. Okay, so sticking this one down, I'm stamping onto watercolour cardstock, so I'm using a stamp press. I've obviously left the magnet on my other stamping press which I've left at home, standard, but hopefully one magnet I'll be fine. I didn't clean my stamp last time. Um, okay, they're really nice stamps. They're such good quality stamps. I am stamping on watercolour card as I said, but um, they're beautiful. I mean, look at that. First time, I don't even need to do a second stamp image and that's on my watercolour cardstock. They're, they're just, they stamp beautifully beautifully and the detail <gasps> we've had a picture yay oh leslie thank you yay that's lovely leslie and you can see see now we know leslie now we know like those different blocks see i wonder is that a flat or have you cut layers it looks like that might be a flat and you're colored that's beautiful um, thank you. Yay, keep coming in. I want to see more photographs, please. That would be lovely. Oh, I'm meant to be getting embossing powder on this and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so, oops a daisy. Let's hope that hasn't dried, eh? Okay, a chic a bit of embossing powder on. I'm, of course, using WOW embossing powder. If you want any WOW, uh, have a look at the website. Um, I'm sure we'll have some in stock for you. I'm just hoping I caught that before it dried. It is First Vine Claire. First Vine Claire is a pigment ink um, that takes a little bit. Actually, it's not. Yeah, it is pigment. That takes a little bit longer to dry. I nearly argued with myself then, live teller. So it should be absolutely fine. It does stay open quite a long time, does this one. I used um, the First Vine Claire, not my wow powder ink pad uh, i actually i'll be honest with you it's because i changed my mind at the last minute what i were designed to demonstrate um i weren't gonna do embossing powder but then i changed my mind so i didn't have time to go and rummage for my um wow embossing pad but this is nice because you're getting a really nice black line which is lovely obviously a little bit of embossing as well I haven't, I didn't use my anti-static pad first. Um, so of course there's little bits, uh, but you know me, I'm not too fussed about that. Okay, now the image, there's different ways of colouring it in. That is a beautiful, strong, gorgeous image. What I'm gonna do, rather than going in this time, um, colouring it in, I'm gonna take, and I'm actually using um, the, the Cosmic Shimmer pigments on this one so using a few of those of course you can use the um the beautiful ones from 13 arts you can use your fabulous brushy holes you've got all of those available i use these ones because these were the first ones that i got my hands on when i were rummaging in my box so but it's a, it's a lovely lovely way of um of coloring the image in because it's quick 
but because you're going to get a lot of colour going on. And I'm putting, I am getting a bit carried away with colour. I was leaving it with three, but I've gone to four colours. Okay, now, because I've got that fantastic background, what I am going to do is get another piece of watercolour cardstock underneath. That'll catch anything. So if there's anything that, you know, that comes... Um, oh, look at that colour. So you start to see the colour just pop. And if I go from further away, it won't be as intense, although I do like the intensity. And you can see the movement now. If you want, now because I've embossed it as well, you'll see that it, the lines, the embossed lines will resist. Now I'm gonna turn me back on you while you watch that and just get a little brush like so. Now I love this, these lines. So, where you don't want it too intense, because there were a bump there of colour, that's when you come in and start to lift that colour out. And this is, the, again, the fun bit, because look, you can start to play with colour. So you can literally start coming in and picking up the colour. So in one part, I'm picking up colour and moving that colour. Where it's really, like, that was really thick with colour, pick that colour up and start to move it. So anywhere where it hasn't got colour, you can bring the colour in. Um, so you can get a little bit of control. I obviously love the fact that with this, you've got that real mix of colours, so where you haven't got a lot of control. And I like that. I like that, that beautiful merge of colour. I think that looks really interesting. But just bringing that in like so. This one here where his leg is, I want that a little bit more deep, um, deep in colour there. I'm there as well. So I'm just looking around where the colour is heavier and just bringing that in light. So what an image. I love this. There we are. And you can see with this now, as that starts to dry, the detail, you'll still get the beautiful detail. You can still go in, like with my other one, I still went in with my gel pen, of course did, because I'm addicted to the gel pens. I still went in with a gel pen and then added more detail over the top. But you don't have to, but I would definitely. But the thing is with your brush hose, with the the um with these ones, your your cosmic shimmer, you want them to dry naturally. So you don't want to come in and start uh, blasting it dry with heat gun. You don't have to let it dry naturally. It's just that if you let it dry naturally, all that will stay. So you'll get all that beautiful colour merge. That's one way of colouring it in. I adore that. Leave it, let it do its own thing, and then you'll work over the top of it. Well, that one's drying. Let me stamp one of other ones. So, <coughs> this one already did a background. So, background's already done, sorted. Um, now, again, because it's a textured background, I am going to be, I'm not going to go in with the stamping block. I'm going to use, um, sorry, I'm just going to use my normal, well, I would use my normal stamping block, but I don't know where I've put it. So, I will use... Ah, oh, Leona, you're faffing. I will use this because I don't know where I put my stamping block. I just need to cut it down a little bit, that's all. Uh, right, I am going to use that amazing uh, seahorse. Now, I know the seahorse has been the most popular. So if you do want the gorgeous seahorse, um, the details are zooming in as we speak. Um, the, <laughs> the details are plodding in gently. <laughs> Taking the time, meandering in, <laughs> meandering, such a good word, meandering into the screen as we speak. Okay, see, now what I did with this one, so this was another inky background, because I knew I wanted to stamp him there, I water, I put spritz of water there to lift some of that ink up, so I four bleach the paper exactly where I want that image. So popping that image on, like so and then just stamping and I, I, I must I have when I've been using these I've stamped them all in black to be fair just because I really like it but I know when RD um, coloured one in last time she coloured in she stamped in a lighter colour and then put the colour over the top and that looked phenomenal i mean the way I decolored these in was absolutely sensational um have a look at my instagram because i know i put photos of that i mean look at that image it's just beautiful um if you do want your gorgeous seahorse stamp 
please check your basket out on that one. Um, it is 382. 238 now almost two-thirds of the stock has gone it's been busy as this one so again check those baskets out sorry i've got my back to you again there it is and <laughs> it's one of them i've stacked up basically you know how i always and i never travel light do i this time i've got everything i own nearly because because i know i'm basically here for for the rest of my life it means that i've sort of brought everything with me so i've just sort of surrounded myself because this is where i'm going to be for quite some time just in this little corner i'm going to bring my slippers in tomorrow might as well might as well might, I? might as well my slippers might as well be comfy okay so you've got that let's just do 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 take now I love this because on that background, using your beautiful little Distress Oxides, they paint wonderfully on that gorgeous inky background because you've got the kind of, um, that lovely tone with the ink, but then when you go over with your, your chalk, it looks amazing. So all I'm doing, I'm putting a few of the colors out. I wouldn't be wasting these, as you well know. I'd obviously picking those up later. Um, and then just start to colour in. So now the lovely thing is with this, the detail of these will just allow you to get absolutely carried away with colouring these in. I mean, they are just exquisite. All I do, and this is what I were doing at home. Now, because these are so detailed, I mean, it's up to you how you go, but when I'm colouring in, especially with Distress Oxide, and it's so easy. You go in where your shadow should be. You then drag the colour out from the shadow. And that allows you to start building up that colour. Now, oh, now we've got them. <laughs> Tracy's emailed it. I love that. Tracy hears it. Right, we need to see these. She says, oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> she said... No dry seahorses, but we've got some dry alpacas. Oh, Tracy, that's so cool. She said it doesn't happen very often <laughs> that the dry alpacas aren't oh, they just amazing. Alpacas, you just want to cuddle them, don't you? Oh, Tracy, thank you. Thank you. They are well cool. Oh, it's so nice to hear from you, Tracy, and thanks for tuning in as well. Okay, see, so look at the colours. So just start, and the lovely thing with this, like I've used, so the first one is your crap pistachio, and then it's the peacock feathers. That's what I'm laying down because um, they just blend together so well. So just layering those colours, but then I'm just gonna show you really quickly. In fact, look at that, isn't that beautiful? I wonder if you can see that properly. It just sits so well. Shall I do that? Sorry, I need to get my fringe cut, but you know that's not gonna happen for a while. So look at that, I'm not gonna cut my fringe myself. Can you imagine cutting my fringe myself and coming on telly? Uh, before I cut, oh, the girls are gonna do it. With my craft scissors hacking away. You can't, you can't, you can't get close enough to cut me hair. Ah, but and no one could, no one can complain about it because there's nothing I can do. I can't go to a hairdresser. So it's just, I'm just going to be like, is it it? Is it it? Yeah, I'll have to get my hair band out, won't I? I put pigtails in my fringe. Um, we have to say, I have to say, see you to your daughter because you can't come in. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Love you bye. Love you bye. Love you bye. Um, he is coming up in next hour and next hour and next hour because we're doing blocks off. So if Eve, right? So if one of shows takes a bit longer to um to come, you know, if it if it's like ooh, it's quite a few like little clips means we had to nip to Lou. <laughs> because <laughs> we're doing four hour stretches anyway see so what i love with this so use your ink pad right use a really good background use your ink pad to color in but then get your gel pens we did sell these the other day the pencil ones i've never used these before in my life until i sold them the other day and seriously well till i they didn't last long they, they're my favorite pens of all time these will i've used them so much uh, I mean, I'm addicted to it, but look how well they sit together. 
So you've got the background, that gorgeous inky background. You've got that beautiful, soft, sort of chalky finish with your Distress Oxide, but then the wonderful vibrancy of that. I mean, I'm obviously not going to finish that because that'll take me hours, but look how well they play together. They just look phenomenal. Um, if you do want these stamps, please check your baskets out. We have got different stamps um, coming up at the two o'clock hour <laughs> so um yeah so have a look on the website for those but um i will get my demonstration set up thank you ever so much for for keeping us company um we've got loads of shows coming up throughout the day um and obviously i'll be back with you later on with more beautiful stamps and dies from stamplistic um right then it is our yarn is coming up next i'm not sure what it's got oh <gasps> it's a brush yours over there anyway have a lovely time bye-bye So we've got lots more coming up on the show today. Uh, I'm coming up next with an amazing pen. Then we've got some storage as part of our one day special. And after that, we will be letting Leone loose. So lots to enjoy. Don't go anywhere. See you in a moment.